this is the Central Business Architecture Committee meeting. Um, I'm going to open it up on our agenda. Today is review of the addition for the rear porch and egress addition at First Church of Christ Scientist at 46 Center Street, Northampton, map ID 31D-126. Before we get started, is there anyone here to talk about anything other than that agenda item? And we'll move forward, and uh, if the applicant could come forward and introduce yourself and um, present what you're proposing. My name is Charles Lewis. Uh, I am a 40-year member of the Christian Science Society uh, of Northampton, otherwise known in some Commonwealth documents as the First Church of Christ Scientist, which is a branch of the Mother Church in Boston. Uh, we changed our name to Christian Science Society about a year and a half ago, and we are filed on Commonwealth uh, documents under that title. Why it hasn't changed here, I'm not quite sure. But we are here, um, and I would like to say, first of all, that we are honored to have the privilege of being counseled and guided by you in this project and other projects. This is a small project, but we certainly uh, and fully respect the intelligent and uh, very noteworthy work that the committee does in order to protect the landmark properties and the legacy of this community. So you have our commendation and appraisal of that. Uh, we have simply plan a uh, small porch to the back of the, of the existing church building which is addressed at 46 uh, Center Street. We were adjoined with the building which is an Italianate structure which had been there actually before the church which was constructed in 1907. The Italianate structure we were once adjoined to because we owned that. We sold it about 18 months ago to Kern and Berger Immigration Law Offices. They have remodeled it, and at the time we sold it, the two buildings were joined by an access, a completely enclosed access hallway that had both a fire exit and a rear e egress to the building. We took that out because we were separating the buildings and the property itself, which was all at that time under the address of 79 Masonic Street, was divided into two addresses, 79 Masonic Street, where the law offices are, and the church and its parking lot, which is still owned and operated by the church, which surrounds both properties uh, at the address of 46 Center Street. <coughs> What we're hoping to put uh, and have permission to construct is a small rear egress entry uh, porch with a hip style roof over and railing uh, around a deck of measurements. Uh, I believe it's uh, five by 10. Five by five. Five by five, excuse me, at, at this point. The, uh, there will be a stair, uh, constructed stairway uh, along the back side of the building out to the edge of the parking area. This egress entry will only be uh, primarily used by staff members of the church. It is not considered or looked upon as a general public entrance. That's strictly through the front of the church. Um, this will be constructed out of uh, pressure treated lumber. It will be founded with a couple of concrete poured tubular uh, pylons. Uh, it will have a Trex uh, plank type decking. It will have uh, a railing and with balusters around it. The railing will be black metal aluminum. Uh, there will be as I say, a set of, of stairs running along uh, one side of that and, and the back side of the building, which also will have a railing. Um, the roof over will be a hip style roof, which will be essentially a connection or extension of the existing hip style roof. 
the entire roof, main roof of the church is done in slate, but for a good many years, the hip style roof of the back section of the church is done in architectural shingles and this small additional roof over the, over the porch that we are planning will also be a matching uh, architectural shingles. In addition to building this rear entry porch, we will be replacing four windows that will match up with the existing windows along both sides of the entire church auditorium. Those are 18 <coughs> windows. Those are replacement style windows. They were uh, initially put in, I believe, in around 2001 or 2002. The windows that we are replacing will match those. They are Harvey uh, product windows. They, <coughs> they are double hung, uh, tilting for cleaning. They are energy efficient and they are uh, a vinyl type window as the ones in the congregation area are and were installed back in 2000 something. Um, beyond that, uh, if you have any specific uh, question or details to uh, inquire about, we'd be glad to uh, respond to that. Uh, our contractor is Charles T. Lebeck of East Hampton. He's with me this evening and can answer certainly far <coughs> more appropriately than I can any technical questions you might have. Where did you say the four replacement windows are going? Um, they're they're on they're a part they are not additional building windows they are replacing the four windows in the back of the building yes, where so it's on that gable back side yes this window and on this side looking at it this way is a window and on the other side that's duplicated so you have one two three four on this day or I mean they're, no, they're, all, they're all right all here right. on that edition coming right. out. This is, the, right. this is the original slate yeah. roof. Right. This is the hip roof. Yeah. This is the, the extended hip roof. There was another, uh, I think there was another sketch of drawing that was provided. Yeah, I think I provided the other, where you can see the rear, looking at it from the back of the building. Yeah, I have one here too. Start off, I'll just pull it out. I think. <laughs> if you don't, if I don't, you do. Okay. I think I gave Carolyn one originally. Well, I know that it was. Yes. Yeah, this is this is from the rear of the building. Right. Is, so it's those two, and there's two right like, on there. That is correct. Yeah. Correct. Sure. If you'd like to pass that down for anyone else to take a look at. John, what are those guidelines on the windows now? Are we clear on that? So um, the window replacements need to match what you know was there unless you're unless it's you know you're going to unless the replace unless the window that's currently there is um, not historically accurate and you're replacing it with a historically accurate window. Um, I don't, uh, it sounds like they're matching what's on the rest of the building that, is um, that was installed, there are, or, you know, I don't there know. Are nine, there are nine windows along the long side of the building, if you can see. These, these windows are of the identical manufacturer. Oh, okay. Those windows were put in, as I say, I, I'm only guessing at the exact time, but it was around 2001 to 2003. So the only I'm crunching that only because there was some, not some confusion, but I think we're trying to redefine the window issues. And um, we typically like like true divided or simulated divided lights, but if the existing windows on the long sides of the building are already grills between the glass, then it's compatible for the same window. Yeah, these will match, to, these will match that perfectly, yes. Yeah, they're the same right. manufacturer, there will be a slightly right. different size, I believe, yes. but other than that, so there's no ramp or accessibility ramp? There is not. Okay. We are looking for the future of okay. so a plan the building is accessible but today. But presently is not through the there. front door. I'm sorry? It, through the front is it accessible? 
um, by wheelchair? No, it is not. We do not have we do not have a uh, universal uh, handicap access at the present time. But we have about three or four <laughs> plans that we have to work amongst ourselves to decide which works the best that yeah. we're working on. Well, I was just wondering if this type of construction triggers the fact that it is required to have access. I don't know what the code would say. It's um uh well it depends on how much you're spending on the renovation. So right. it's thirty percent the value of the building or over a hundred thousand dollars, which probably no. doesn't okay. hit that Actually, I don't know what Massachusetts law is on so. <coughs> Um, the existing windows currently are two over two. It looks like a true divided light um, currently. And you're proposing to go to a 12 over 12. These will be identical to what? what you're referring to four windows on the back? Right, the four windows. Yeah, the, yeah. Right, correct. They're currently true divided lights. Yeah. 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 Yes, sure. there's grid work on the exterior. They are, but, but we felt <laughs> that they ought to match everything else in the building. Mm -hmm. and. Consequently, that's why we have defined it as matching. And are they the, they're the same exact size as the other windows? No, uh, within a probably a quarter inch. Yeah. Okay. The exterior trim and the interior trim won't be touched. For the replacement windows, basically, you take the old sashes out, you slide a new sash in. Uh huh. So the, the trim on interior and exterior will remain the same. So you're just replacing the sash, basically. Basically, what it is. <clears throat> um, and you're using pressure treated uh, pressure treated framing and then you also talked about pressure treated lattice for the to, to skirt the porch underneath to keep the animals going, out is it going to be painted or yes it'll be painted white you painted white to match the white on the church okay so the intent is to tie in all the colors the same as the church. Yes, uh, the ra the railing would be one exception to that. The railing balusters will be black. Uh -huh. uh, that would match up essentially not not completely with the design of the railings on the front of the church, but simply we felt that there should be black railings on the back, like there are black railings on the front. But these these are manufactured pre-manufactured uh, railings. The ones on the front were uh, handcrafted, I'm sure, a good many years ago uh, by Ironworks, uh, something that we did not feel was a worthy expense at this time. Mm -hmm. um, and the hip roof, you're tying that into existing shingle roof as well? That's the correct. The new roof over there? Right. Exit. It is a hip style roof. That, that back section is a hip style roof, and then the porch that we're adding will be a hip roof for, for it coming off of the existing hip roof. Okay. Um, it looks like in one drawing you have the eave coming down lower than the existing eave, and one drawing you have it at the same level. Uh, the intent is to match. <laughs> um, I uh, on the porch, on the porch, you got to build a carrying beam around for the rafters sit on, so that's why it looks like it's lower, because we don't have a wall. It becomes now just a beam and a railing. Mm -hmm. So what you may be seeing there is is the trim board that'll wrap around, like on the main body of the church. It looks like you have the roof line lower here than it is here. Yeah, there. The overhang is lower. Than it is okay, here. that that would be just a clerical error, I guess. But no, mm -hmm. it's going to match up. This is a free board. You can see here. Mm -hmm. That supports the roof. This is not going to come across, so that was probably just an elevation problem. But these, these are going to match up. These elevations will be the same. Hey, Ellen, did you see the rear elevation they have there? Yeah. yeah. Um, That's what's there, the rear elevation. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's and then it's the same slope or a shallower slope? Uh, what's on the main building, because it's a bigger structure, is probably a 9, 9 and 12 pitch to make these overhangs work up with a 5 by, a 5 foot wide building, which categorizes that porch as 5 feet wide. Yeah. To make those faces line up, it ends up being a shallower pitch. 
I mean, give or take by one degree. Um, it's really hard to determine to, you know, build a structure. Sure. I, I guess I'm having trouble with um, with the geometry of what I'm seeing on one, one elevation versus the other elevation. Um, it looks much. It looks <coughs> like there's much more roof on here and much less roof on here. Um, Part of it, part of it would be I, I would have to own up to the fact that one of those drawings was done by me. I was a former graphic artist uh, well, quite a long time ago. Yeah. We did not see fit to go through the uh, architects that had originally designed another plan that we were proposing at one time, but which we had now gone beyond. Yeah. And so the best we felt was to at least present. Uh, a sensible depiction of what we were trying to describe to you. I, I apologize if it doesn't meet a standard that you are normally familiar with, um, but our hope is that answering any specific questions regarding the construction of it will satisfy uh, your concerns. Um. Conceptually, I understand what you're proposing, but the details are are not apparent to me. You can verbally describe it, but it's not uh, to me. It's not coming through. I'm not. Uh, that that second plan you're looking at was something that was approved under the first scope of work that they were doing like a year ago. Um, that showed the depiction of the back of the building, which we with the windows being changed because I think it says on our new replacement windows. That so was I think, approved through this committee? Um, I, I think it was something that was reviewed a year or so ago. They, so um, so uh, in 2016, they came for a different addition on the back that was approved. And this is a smaller, this is a much more compressed version of that. But it was, it, and that was the one, I don't know if you, Right, I mean, it went, it went to planning board as well as um, you all because it was a bigger addition, mm -hmm. essentially. Okay, so it wasn't this drawing, mm -hmm. these drawings. That is correct. Approved. It was not. Um, I would only correct part of that statement in saying that the base structure of the building is the main structure of the church itself, that portion that you see there, mm -hmm. the existing structure this was a sketch or drawing or rendering that was drawn onto that added to added to the original dimensions of what you see there mm -hmm. it was not cad cam generated it was simply done by, by hand by hand that is correct um so this elevation doesn't show any kind of trim board around the base of the porch it shows the lattice going right up to the underside of the... Does the larger print have it? Azec trim boards? Or not Azec, excuse me, Hardy Point trim boards? There is, there is a trim board on this elevation, but not on this elevation. Yes, that first elevation, that, well, the first picture you see, the shorter one, the smaller one, yeah. was something we submitted prior, and Carolyn asked for some additional information, and that's when I did that drawing, which signified the Hardy board um, but we didn't have enough information. We didn't provide enough information, so that's why we <clears throat> I gave you that larger print that described the Hardy Plank, the lattice, the uh, ASAP trim, or the, excuse me, the Hardy Plank trim boards, mm -hmm. match and fascia, 11 inch. They match with exactly what's on the building. Um, architectural shingles. I, you know, we, we have lots of different people come before the board with various levels of um, information and uh, frequently when the information is not consistent or uh, not well developed, it's, this is more of a sort of a conceptual drawing, um, we ask you to come back with a more detailed drawing. Um, well, I understand that this is a very <coughs> small, simple, addition but I also uh, feel like it would be unfair to other people that we've asked to come back with well I produced the paperwork that I was asked to produce whether it was a hand free drawing a Photoshop drawing and that's what you have on the bigger page so I brought what I was told that 
I could bring mm -hmm. or provide, we provide, and that's what we did. <clears throat> this with, with this one the, drawing. And that's what I was, I had to bring in a west, I think a west elevation viewed from a sonic street. Mm -hmm. That's what I was asked to bring in. So the other page wasn't adequate enough. I was told to bring, to, to provide that drawing that explained the trim boards, the lattice, and the view from the west side, I believe it is. And that's, and, but it was photoshopped, hand drawn. Okay. So that's why, that's why you have that and not, um, you know, maybe uh, a CAD drawing, if you will. And this, this is the drawing where you're saying the roof line is shown incorrectly and that's just an error. Um, I, what do you mean by incorrectly? That the roof line is lower than this roof line. That that's not, that's I not. I think what we're trying to classify is, is, is the fascia continue? Con yes, it's the fascia, the the fascia, fascia will continuous. continue around as being one equal plane. But that's not what the drawing represents. Well, if, if that's and if, I'm if, not if that's not how you see it, then you're absolutely correct. I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just um, we like to see what you're actually going to build, and and what you've presented isn't what you're saying is different from what's on the drawings. Um, that's my opinion. I don't know if anyone has any other. Well, opinion. I was just wondering if. Um, you know, conceptually, this seems to be aimed in the right direction. It's just a question of detail. And I think in the past, we've sort of given guidance about, you know, the conceptual idea is okay, subject to additional review by the chair once the drawings are brought in. Um, and that would, um, you know, allow proceeding on the project without, say, waiting until the next meeting of this group. Right. Uh, if that I, I think we've done that, used mm -hmm. that technique in the past. Mm -hmm. That might be appropriate here on such a small project. Considering that, again, the scale, the scope of the project, the scale is so small, maybe we could clarify the details that are important to us on that rear elevation sketch so we're all clear with the heights. I certainly of, can write it in as these spaces are going to line up. Yeah, for example, you know, like the water tables, you know, I, I, it seems to me that you want the water table lines to line up so the siding lines, you know. I'm sorry. I, I don't know that I never, I didn't go over there and look close enough uh, compared to that, but, you know, again, to try to facilitate this, maybe we, you could make notes to clarify it and make sure we're all on the same page. Absolutely. If, if I might add for this process, mm -hmm. you could start. I, you know, I'd recommend so if you're making condition that you want to see all those points so that the fascia boards wrap around, that the roof heights are the same, that whatever other elements that the, um, you know, the dimension of the trim boards to match what the trim boards are on the existing and all of that. So, the, so you found two inconsistencies. Is that one, one was the, the roof line coming below here, and the other one was having a patient board here but not having one there. It correct. Um, so, and, and you said that there is going to be a patient board across the back of the porch that would match this one here. Oh, for, uh, for each one. Board. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, this is really depicted. This is what the back of the structure looks like, the head roof, the two windows that we're replacing. Mm -hmm. You can't see on this one. And I, and I was told you need a, a west elevation, which right. which is, you know, with, with the details, along with the paperwork that I sent them up. So this fascia is 100% is going to line up. Um, I might be happy to write that on any one of those notes. Um, the trim boards are all going to be party plank which was required someone had mentioned we can't use pvc hey i'm just curious here this stair that it shows here goes in it very high up but the uh, this shows this floor line uh, the deck line yeah this this is a set of temporary stairs that the town allowed them to do yeah um the first thing so, so this is oh, where's the floor well the, you know, the door the door is that goes into the door so when you come out of the door with the new platform, you're going to step down and then the stairs are going to go that way. Right. 
But this is just so, showing what the, the yeah, talent. No, I, yeah, but, so then the new platform is actually higher than what it shows here. Well, right now it's showing about maybe a foot higher, eight inches higher than it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah. 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 Um, Dark Soul, you only have one step coming out for to match code. If I might add for your consideration, if you are familiar with what the building looked like before they were separated from each other, mm -hmm. this is by far an architecturally more harmonious <laughs> oh, sure. resolution sure. of what you have in this landmark building, both of them. So I think when, when you speak of wanting to be fair to others, when the detail appears to be missing, uh, what isn't missing here is our absolute concern and love of both buildings and the environment in which they're set. We're doing our very best to <laughs> match up with what it ought to be. Uh, we are a small congregation when we saw fit to not uh, re-engage an architect uh, at a rather costly expense to generate uh, more complex more complex illustrations but simply to work off of what we already had that was one of the reasons why we had also just undergone a rather severe expense of well over a hundred thousand dollars in resurfacing and putting in an entire new uh, drainage basin in the parking lot meeting all of the environmental requirements for that so as i said to begin with we're fully conscious of what you're doing here and we certainly want to meet that standard mm -hmm. uh, I would have to take some deference with with your opinion that the information we're presenting now if the text matches and the measurements and the text match then the picture itself that you're unable to visualize may not be a lacking on what we're presenting We shouldn't have to visualize, we should be able to see what, what you're proposing. And it, it is, uh, it's a hand sketch, it's conceptual, and we get the idea of it, um, but there are a few elements that are missing or unclear. So um, it sounds like the committee is in favor of identifying those details that are missing mm -hmm. as a condition. Yeah, I think that would be appropriate, and then um, allowing a final review or something by a designated representative of the committee, mm -hmm. uh, as we've done in the past. Um, so the issue, the items that are unclear to me are the roof line, uh, where there is a trim board missing um, on one drawing versus the other. Um, the details around. If we the, one the, the smaller the drawing is depicting where the new windows are going to go. It's not of the deck. The larger portion is the west elevation that was asked to present. Um, I could, you know, change the deck facade on the smaller drawing and just show you where the new windows are going, and maybe draw a line tonight to show you the roof line lines up on the the bigger drawing. If that works. Yeah, I would think that if you had one of the drawings that becomes the official one, uh, rather than try to doctor up both of them, it will be a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And maybe better to do that and just condition the permit and have them go and, and do one, you know, combined, and then you can review it um, electronically or in paper um, prior to issuance of the building permit for it. So we want to see another drawing, is that? You, you just want to see that overhang be the same elevation as the, the main building? Yeah. So if I just shrink that line up and draw a straight line across a uh, parallel line, or you'll see that it lines up. So sure. it, it, I mean, it, 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 excuse my, uh, my, you know, my drawing, but, um, but that's the intent. Okay. As I have on the paperwork that the overhangs will match up on the paperwork, I think you have that as well. It states that. Okay, and this you're saying the slopes of the, the new roof are matching the slopes of the existing roof? Yep. Um, 
I mean, is that the concern of the committee that the slopes have to match? Well, I, match? you know, just understanding it in terms of its uh, three-dimensional. Right now, this roof looks very, very flat. Like it might actually be a flat. Uh, roof. Uh, again, I'm just showing the depiction of where the windows are going. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. But this is more accurate. You're I would say, well, I would say that's the drawing I, I was required to give from the west side. Okay. From the west side, excuse me. So it sounds like this roof is probably going to be higher. So that you can have a little bit of an overhang and it's going to line up with the existing roof. Uh, not necessarily, no. No. The, um, you know, that's, whether that's shown a 5 fold pitch and a 9 fold pitch, the way that's determined, it's a smaller structure. So if you have a 24 foot wide building. The, I understand what you're saying, but is the roof. You're saying the roof line is going to be the same, whereas Correct. this yes. drawing is yes. shown lower. Yeah, exactly. The overhead so is shown in that picture. If the slope is, is staying the same, the whole yeah. roof structure gets a little bit higher. I'm not changing the I'm only changing the porch. The porch is the only thing I'm adding. I'm not changing the existing structure. No. No, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying this. The roof over the new porch is going to get a little bit higher. Oh, so right. The line lines up with Correct. the existing yes. porch, and you still have some overhang. Yes. Similar to whatever the overhang. Yes. Is on exactly. The Exactly right? Yes, that, that's the clarity okay. that I'm looking for. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, is somebody ready to make a motion on the clarifications around the roof and the trim boards? <laughs> well, let me, can I get some clarification before you do? So are you thinking if you just want to identify, here's how you have to do the project as conditioned or that plus and revise the plans to show that that's what you're doing before you build. In the past we've asked for whatever drawings are being submitted to the building department. Yeah. Okay. So then you you want to see those things and then you want to see the drawing showing those things. Yeah. Okay. So what you're asking for what we're trying to say is that we can potentially grant a conditional approval based on those few specifics we just talked about and those should be corrected on a drawing to be submitted with the building permit right and then i will look at it electronically and confirm that those changes were made yeah, there should be a drawing of record of what it is that we have approved right. otherwise the, the documentation is different. But I think so. so anyway, I think I think some. You know, we're not asking for you know yeah, the rendition of this detail. Just something I think that you know is more has the facial lines lined up, the roof pitch is correct, and the trim boards dimensioned. That's all. You know, I mean, I think you could take that rear elevation and just doctor it up. Yeah. You know, to correct those few things. But like we're saying, in principle, we can grant the conditional approval and then you just have the building permit so I'm so correct just to be clear so it's like I can change that drawing that you have mm -hmm. raise that gable so that that face board lines up that would suffice the committee satisfy the committee mm -hmm. one last question I have is the um, the lattice work is just going straight into the ground or is there a trim board at the bottom straight into the ground I like the one with the trim better on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is actually showing yeah. the trim on the bottom. It stands up better too. Yeah. I probably, you know what, I have regrets even sending that photo in, but it was really just to show, because we had a problem with the windows, that they didn't match up with the time, the era, mm -hmm. but the replacement windows, and it was just to, to clarify where the windows were gonna go. We were changing openings, we were just gonna add, replace the existing windows. Are you opposed to <coughs> putting a trim board at, at the base of the lattice? No. You're talking about a frame around. Right. Yeah, you're framing frame it out right. so that I think it's it looks a lot more traditional. I don't, have, I don't have a problem with it because that was my aesthetic choice when I drew that drawing. <laughs> so, I mean, if it, and, and he and I have talked about the reinforcing of it. We talked at once of, of possibly using a vinyl, which would warp. We didn't like the idea of using the vinyl to begin with. If we firm up the lattice work, which is a privacy type lattice work, it would have a frame around it that would make it more rigid. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're talking about. Yeah. I think all this is is it a storage. Storage. Yeah. 
for the for the church board. So All this is is a storage space underneath, just to be able to use that if we needed to. It's open space underneath there. There's mm -hmm. nothing else going to be under there, and like not likely much in the way of a storage at all. But if one could put a trash barrel under there. So there would be doors on the on that face. Is well, that whether it would be doors or or a panel that fit simply into a bracket. Mm -hmm. This, this is showing door. Oh, no, store. Yeah, storage area door. That's mm -hmm. what it says. Yeah. On this one. So you would, if you had some sort of panel, that would be framed out. It would just be consistent to frame yes. out the base all the way around. Yes. Okay. So it sounds like the conditions are that the lattice is framed, the facial lines will line up. The roof pitches remain about you know a degree or two. You know, oh, that's it. That's exactly. You know, it. and um, and like and then the the skirt boards or the the, the board tables are consistent. Is that mm -hmm. what we're saying? Mm -hmm. Consistent to what's there because that's like a one by twelve pine that's on the church. Or you say consistent. Well, this factor, this is a one by twelve here. On the bottom skirt of the church, probably eleven inches, anyways. Well, and so what you're I, showing is you're showing something that's that's two by eight. So well, no, I mean on here this one by that's not that's a pretty. Oh right, right. What that is? Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh right. So that, yeah, so that, that that'll carry on. the same dimension. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's all right. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. It doesn't have a dimension, but it has yeah, the trim right. board on there. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's basically those three factors that we, I mentioned. And I don't know if anyone has, has any other additions to that. Is that clarified enough, you think? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, if you put it into a motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, just so I'm clear, so I'll, yeah. I'll do a drawing that has that shows the overhang straight across so it's even. I'll draw some lines on the bottom or on the lattice that shows the skirt or uh, framed out. And indicate that the trim board along the decking will match the size of the existing on the general. church. Right. You want me to word that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I make a motion that we conditionally approve this project based on the improvement of the drawing to be submitted with the permit that will reflect the facial lines being at the same height or elevation that the water table and trim boards around the deck match the existing building and that the lattice structure be framed out. A second. <laughs> All in favor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank Amen. You. <laughs> That's it? Sorry to break through, but we really do, you know, people come in like oh, no, you know, all different levels. You know, and we just try to get some consistency here nope. because we have had things I have done done differently than yes. what was approved because of the lack of clarity in the drawings. Yeah. So that's all. So what this means is, I can probably I'm, I'm taking off for a couple of days, but I can just send Carolyn, you know, sketch of all these requirements. Yeah, and that'll go in with your building permit anyway. So okay, okay. Now will I get a confirmation after you get it that we're well, I'm going to go? put together the permit and so you'll get the copy of the permit with the um, conditions and then typically what happens then you'll send it to me I'll let you know we'll confer and um, I'll let you, you know that you can move forward to your building permit. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Early night, right? Not much going on. Three hour minimum on it. So we have two more items that aren't actually on the agenda. So, um, so the first one is um, I got a, a correspondence from a person who's on the subcommittee for the commit commission. They have a new name, relatively new name. I can never keep up. North Arts Council. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, 
they're interested in embarking on a public mural project or process, so multi-year of um, sort of doing um, a um, kind of a design competition thing where they would select one person to do a mural on a specific wall in downtown um, and then every year essentially commission another piece of art. <laughs> Um, so it, the conversation generated um, questions about, you know, whether first whether or not um, those would be allowed if they're considered signs. And so I raised the concern about potentially painting brick walls or buildings, and that um, uh, painting of unpainted brick would need review by the commission. So. Um, what I thought would be appropriate, might be appropriate, so I just wanted to run it by you, is whether or not it makes sense to sort of um, have the commission come in and, and talk about their plan and the scope and what they're sort of envisioning for how this might um, play out. And whether you all could set some parameters so that they don't have to come in each time for every single building, but sort of set up and say okay this is going to be it's not going to be an entire building that will be covered probably and it um, they're not intending to focus on landmark buildings but, <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but so if there so I, I guess um, I wanted to run it by you to see what you think about framing it that way sort of having them come in and sort of you guys creating an approval of you know this program and and approving of sort of the the structure of it and what the guidelines would be about how they could do this sort of every year. I think there's a there's a block building on King Street. They can probably <laughs> paint that entire thing one year. <laughs> That's not brick though, right? It's no, it's block. block. <laughs> Come on, it's been there a long time. It's a parking garage, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Have they identified locations? I don't know. I that has not been revealed yet. I don't know if they've gotten to that part or if. Um, is, yeah. Sounds like a big political mess. Wait till they have to start dealing with like subject matter and then differentiate. <laughs> that. I mean, besides the building aspects of it. But anyway, well, well, we have our, um, our really nice mural back on the telephone building. Yeah, right. I was going to say. I wonder. What, I mean, I remember as a kid when that went up, but that was like. I mean, that was thirty-five is there, years ago. Is probably. there yeah. is there an issue with painting unpainted bricks in terms of how it's what it does right. to it's the bricks? Great. It can hold the moisture in and cause it to freeze, thaw, and spall. So, yeah. Yeah, there, there's some great. beautiful murals in East Hampton. I think mm -hmm. it's very well done. Uh, nicely oh, um, uh, crafted um, on appropriate sides of buildings, mm -hmm. usually where you have a side on an alley or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, but yeah, I think if we establish some basic parameters <laughs> that wouldn't tread on um, subject matter considerations or what the thing would look like, but just how it's placed on a structure. I think that's very valid to sit in here chat with these folks. Would they consider painting on plywood or something that could be applied to a building rather than that's painting a, that's appropriate masonry? Yeah. I'm wondering well, if there's I, like I a release that you could put on that could be taken off at a later point. Yeah. You know? I specifically asked if they could, you know, if you create sort of a frame of something that would be painted and and um, uh, it's uh, Jonah Zuckerman um, was the one who responded and said, well, they, that, that adds an expense um, to the process and I guess he mentioned something about they tried that up at JFK um, last year and with mixed success or something like that. But I think those are all valid questions. I mean, I pitched that to them, but they're also, I don't know if they're thinking about, you know, um, um, wood buildings only, or wood and some brick, or, you know, Sirius Market has that new, or the um, pharmacy has that newer mural that went on here. Hungry Ghost. So I, you know, I don't know what the, I, I think, because there's a bunch of questions and unknowns, it probably makes sense to have that conversation. But I also think, didn't you say that it's going to be once once a year they're going to plan to do this? 
I think they're planning on on doing one project a year. Yes, I don't, I don't think goes. it's. I think they should come before us at every every project, just in case there's any like change in in management or whatever they do, because it, it, you never know what might be passed along if there's anybody that's all of a sudden no longer involved. You know, I mean, I don't think there, there's no reason why we shouldn't take a look at it again because. You know, then what if something's painted we didn't want to paint it, then you can't just unpaint it really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that would be a valid point of question. I had I had a mural printed right. on the side of my right. brick building uh, and uh, and I um, I wasn't aware actually that it was it's a bad idea to paint bricks, but you know, I been painting over graffiti for years, so this the mural just kind of painted over the graffiti. But if it's a bad idea to paint over bricks, then then we probably should not be having people put murals on brick buildings in downtown Northampton. And we uh, and we it's I'm not sure we want to have a uh, um, hearing each time because it, it's. But maybe it would be uh, maybe the thing to do would be to have a have them give us a list of locations that they think might be good to do over the years, and then we could look at each one of those locations and say this is a bad idea, or this is a okay idea. It's um, we we definitely don't want to be getting into the um, any aesthetic uh, questions mm -hmm. it was difficult enough for uh, for them but I uh, and I the way I would think would make most sense to approach it would be to ask them to present us with a list of locations and we could say yes or no well, even if they gave us a list or some examples of typical locations, uh, that they would identify, well, here's the back of a building is a typical one. Here's the side up against a parking lot or an alley uh, without getting specific, because then you're going to stir up getting permission from the property owners to do that. Well, they're going to have to do that anyway. Yeah, but they, they would have to do it anyway. I would, uh, but uh, you, you, we could look at um, yeah, hypothetical proposals well, if you decide to do something on a building that is all raw brick, we would say no. If, on the other hand, it's all graffiti covered or what have you, then it might color one's thinking. No, I've got a telephone building. Is it now when they did that? It, it must have been brick behind it. And they must put like a stucco or something on, right? And then it's just been touched up over the years. Well, there was a major repainting in for 2014. Yeah. Or something. yeah. Yeah. But that so it was brick behind it, and then they treated it in order to be able to do that to make it like a kind of night. Yeah, I would imagine. I think well, it was, I was just directly painted on the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it just had no walls. Yeah, and I would just they didn't prep the surface of the brick at all. I don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I, th I think the it's my understanding. I, I mean, I think the the issue about um, long term. Um, <laughs> Stability of the brick is important, and, and that certainly makes sense for encasing the entire building for sure. I think the other piece to sort of balance is the idea that the guidelines are um, primarily to promote, you know, downtown vibrancy and encourage pedestrian activity and new, um, you know, new um, life into downtown. So that is a piece that. Certainly, art can um, is important. I'm, I'm not artists. against the idea. But I, I don't think it's asking that much of them to say, "All right, give us a list of six oh. locations where you think this might be good, and then we can look at each yeah. one." I, it, this is something that's so going to be so specific to the location that I think it's a bad idea to to try and do something that's hypothetical or generalized. I would so I. I'd say. Well, maybe I should just have them of, come in to the bring, next but, meeting, or but, but bring, bring us a list of mm -hmm. six locations, or mm -hmm. where, however, you know, however you know, it's going to take you. It's going to take you a long time to use up six locations, and yeah. <laughs> and, and let us uh, let us look at them, and and we'll 
tell you what we think. Yeah, and they could propose the same way that they do for us. They give us the building materials. I mean, we'll probably know the, the buildings and the, what the facade is made of, but felt is brick, felt is stucco, concrete, yeah, concrete, CMU, whatever. I mean, also, if it's once a year, I would, personally, I would get the commit and have to review mm -hmm. one project a year. Okay. I think all right. Well, I might, I'll, I'll go back to Jonah and just see sort of where they are in their planning and um, maybe they want to come to your next meeting or the meeting after or something like that just to have sort of more so that, you know, you guys can exchange information and understand better, you know, what the parameters are. Did the Sirius folks come before us? So there hasn't really been precedence for people who want to do a mural to come before this board. Right, I mean, and and really it's only been, you know, when projects, other projects are happening and someone comes in and says, okay, I'm doing all this stuff to the building and I want to paint it. And then you've all said, no, don't paint it. Syria, that's also that end is the is block and it may have been painted before, before they put the mural on. I can't, frankly, can't remember. Um, the bakery people certainly um, and that's that, that's on that addition, I think, of the, of the building. But, um, and I, but I don't know that that's brick anyway. Um, it's a stucco. It's stucco. Yeah, it's stucco. Yeah. So, that addition of right. C4.9. Right. And I think at that time they well, talked about they were going to put a mural on one of the bulk walls. Yeah. I thought it was on the opposite yeah. of the side of the building, okay, not on the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, they marched to so I don't think there's really been an opportunity. I mean, really, it's only been in the context of a whole building being proposed to be painted or paint coming off a building or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, so the other item is, um, and I'll probably we haven't quite finalized it, but you know we had been working on the update of the guidelines and put it on hold until the um, co consultants that we had looking at um, the downtown street scape and design standards or developing a design standard for streetscape was done. Um, we since sort of expanded that contract and asked them to look more detail at um, some design elements, but also looking at Florence Center um, as part of it, sort of looking at the general business district and then creating, looking at um, sub-districts within central business district. Um, so we can look at actual potential zoning changes or morphing what they're doing into sort of a new code for downtown. And so this second phase is going to be um, uh, hopefully heavily involve you all <laughs> um, meaning that we're setting it up that way and I hope that you want to participate <laughs> um, but really it's going to be a fast process in that um, we, we want to do some brainstorming with you all as you know part of the stakeholder group for downtown um, and look at sort of what, where they've come already for the public realm um, the street standards for how we, um, if the city ever does make improvements or if the private developers need to make improvements to the street, what, you know, creating a uniformity of how we um, deal with those situations. Um, present that and then sort of launch into how we tie it into the private side um, for the development. So that means probably March or April we'll be um, setting up meetings um, with the um, consultant team for downtown and also Florence. We're sort of going to run them in parallel. Um, we might have some meetings um, back to back, so one in Florence and then coming downtown and doing one. But it'll be sort of a six month, six to eight month process. Um, so keep your eye on your email. <laughs> but that's the other, that's the reason why we had held back on okay. moving the draft forward so we can sort of um, melt the things together. So thanks for letting us know. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting changes. One code, just one code from our campaign. Mm -hmm. 
No. <laughs> one one design sort of or form based code for downtown and then maybe a slightly different one for Florence Center. Mm -hmm. um, and then sub districts for downtown so that we're not necessarily treating each of the side streets, you know, and their architecture architecture the same. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Can I Would you entertain a motion to adjourn? Yes. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> All in favor?